Your income doesn't matter. Your age doesn't matter. Your race doesn't matter. Your geographical location doesn't matter. There's a thing that you and I are dealing with in your money, and it's called math. And none of those things I just mentioned give you a pass on math. And where people get themselves in trouble, including when I went broke many years ago because I was stupid, we get ourselves in trouble when we don't bother and do the math before we do the transaction. We're the stupid woman from San Diego who leased her dog for $5,400. We make $90,000 a year and somehow in our brains figure out that our children deserve a $50,000 Honda SUV. And now we have to take the kids out of private school because we can't pay the payments on the SUV and the private school because we didn't do math. We're 21 years old. We buy a $10,000 car, run up $10,000 in credit card debt, and have $10,000 in medical bills and make $30,000 a year. When you make $30,000 a year, there's nowhere in that plan that the $10,000 car makes sense. There's nowhere in that plan that running up a bunch of credit card debt gives you any room to breathe. You already can't breathe. We have three kids. We make $28,000 a year. Should I go back to work, the woman asks. $28,000 income with three kids. Our health care is provided by Medicaid, which is welfare. Because we qualify. If I go back to work, we won't qualify for that. And if we go back to work, if I go back to work, they'll have to pay for daycare. And I'm not sure I'm going to even break even. At least she was doing math up front and thinking about it before she made the decision. Now, of course, her answer to her equation is both she and her husband need to develop some kind of a long-term career path and a short-term series of part-time jobs and extra jobs and small business ideas that create an income that at least doubles. The bad news is they only make $28,000 a year. The good news is with a little bit of work and ingenuity, they easily can double their household income. And then they don't have to worry about being on the government dole, and you got a long-term game plan to get yourself out. It's not a matter of simply her going back to work. That's a limited view of that situation. I actually didn't answer her question properly when she called. What does all of this have in common? Every single one of these things have in common. Adults devise a plan and follow it. Children do what feels good. Stephen Covey in the book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, says number one habit of highly effective people is they're proactive. They happen to things. One of the other habits is you begin with the end in mind. So when broke people say, I can afford this, you know what they're saying? I think I might be able to pay the payments. That's what broke people mean when they say that. If you don't want to be broke people anymore, you get out of the land of payments. If you don't want to be broke people anymore, you sit down and you say, hey, here's what we make. Here's the size of our mess. What are we going to do to increase our income and decrease our outgo to be able to address the mess faster? It really is sixth grade or fourth grade math. It really and truly is. But you have to get in front of it instead of running behind it all the time. Getting in front of it is you look at your situation before you make a decision, not after you've made the decision. A $44,000 SUV when you make $85,000 a year is stupid. Whether you paid cash for it or not, it's still stupid. But when you finance it, it's double, triple stupid. But it felt good when you bought it and... Mama's going to be pissed at Dave Ramsey because her husband called the show and he said, you're stupid. And Mama loves that car, I'll just tell you. How many times has that story been repeated in the last 25 years? I'm a cuss word in some of your all's houses. That's fine. I'm, everybody's got to have a gift. I've got it. I'm okay. But we have to begin with the end in mind. It's called being a grown-up. You have to look at the situation and go, there's no possible way a sane individual is going to make that decision. But the thing is that we're not sane when we're making half the decisions because we're operating on about a four-year-old level, meaning we impulse our butts off. I'm tired. I don't want to, I don't want to cook tonight. Let's go out to eat. 
Let's go out to eat. We got to go out to eat because I'm tired. I work hard. I'll call the wambulance. We all work hard. I'm sorry. If you'd have followed me around the last six days, you'd be in the hospital, some of you. We all work hard. Wah. Wah. You poor little thing. Because let me tell you what that going out to eat looks like. It looks like you're 26 years old, you make 30000 bucks a year. You're 21 years old, you make 30000 bucks a year, and you run up $10,000 in credit card debt because you bebop in and out of restaurants. You bebop onto a vacation you can't afford. You bebop your butt down to the pet store and buy something you can't afford. You bebop through Target. Some of you go to Walmart for entertainment. Give me a break. You might be a redneck if Walmart is your entertainment. And no wonder you run up debt. No wonder you can't breathe. No wonder, because you've got, you got payments coming out your dadgum ears, man. And nobody goes in debt. Ten, listen, people that make $30,000 a year, they're 21 years old, they don't go $10,000 in debt in one purchase. They don't run, they don't use their credit card and buy one thing for $10,000. No, it's a thousand fifty dollars things. It's death by a thousand cuts. And then you look up and go, oh, my God, what have we done? What have we done? How stupid are we? Now, I'm on your team. I've done it, too. But I'm just telling you, a lot of the stuff that's happened in this hour on this show is stuff that is unbelievably preventable. You just look at it and go, no, we're not going to rent our dog. As a matter of fact, we're not going to finance our dog. And we're sure as crap not financing a cat. You know, it's not happening. Period. Period. We're not, we're not buying this car, honey. I know you want a nice car, honey. But you know what? We're broke. Broke people don't buy $45,000 Honda SUVs. We're broke. And you know how I know we're broke? Because we don't have any money. That's how I know we're broke. Well, we make a lot of money. Yeah, but it's all gone. Have you not noticed? We don't have any money. We don't have any money. We don't have any money. No, we're not going out to eat. Why? We're broke. We don't have any money. You're not in freaking Congress. You can't just print it in the basement. You have to live on less than you make, and you have to have a plan, and you have to be intentional. I meet people that make $30,000 a year that save money. I meet people that make $130,000 a year couldn't save money if they had to. It hasn't got anything to do with the income. It's got to do with you freaking controlling the person in your mirror. It's you deciding, I'm going to be a grown-up. I'm going to be an adult. And that's if you're 52, you're 22, or you're 12. Adults devise a plan and follow it. Children do what feels good. Everybody's all worried about everybody's feelings these days. I'm not worried about your feelings. I make a living hurting your feelings. I don't give a crap about your feelings. I'm, I, I, you know, listen, let me tell you what feels good. Not having any dead gun payments. That's what feels good. Having a pile of money in the bank. That feels good. Being wealthy enough to be take your eyes off yourself and not be so dad blame self-centered and actually be generous where there's some room, some margin in your budget and you can give money to somebody else that's hurting. That feels good. But no, we live on the junk food of finance. And, and financially, we've got an obese culture that's lost its mind. And so, you guys, you have to be weird. Normal is broke. The Wall Street Journal says 70% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. That's seven out of ten houses on your street. And I don't care what street you live on. That's seven out of ten houses. See all those ten houses in your mind? Seven of those people are broke. Oh, they look good, but they're acting rich. They're not rich. It's what they call in Texas, big hat, no cattle. Don't live like that. It's time to be weird. Those of you that want to weird be, be that want to win with money, you got to do weird things. Cuz normal is broke. And if you do normal stuff, you're going to have normal results. It's time to stop it. This is the Dave Ramsey show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. Thank you.